Beth from Thimble Hooks and Such. Today is an and such day. I'll show you my perfect pizza dough recipe because we moved to the middle of nowhere and no one delivers and we had to figure out how to make good pizza because I don't want to eat a frozen pizza. All right, so we have, obviously you need some yeast. Probably more likely to have something like this around, these little packets. Otherwise, you use, if you really make a lot of bread and stuff, you're going to have this around. So we'll go with that. We need, this is a cup and a half of regular old all-purpose, everybody has some in their pantry, flour. This is three quarters of a cup of double zero flour, which is pizza flour, pizzeria flour. We got this off of Amazon, because sometimes it's kind of hard to find. So if you want to get the double zero, plan ahead and make sure you can find some, because it's not something you can grab at every grocery store. Um, this is one tablespoon of honey and one teaspoon of kosher salt. Super simple. Um, this is a slightly less than one cup of warm water, about 105 degrees or so, 105 to 115. Don't go any hotter than that or your yeast will be sad. And add one teaspoon of yeast and let it get bubbly. That takes a couple, three minutes. I already did mine so I can start. So I'm gonna set him over here for a second. I'm gonna pour in my, here's my one and one half cups of normal old flour the kind that everybody has. Even if you don't bake, you should have a little bit of flour around. This is a three-quarter cup of z double zero flour. Put all the dry things in first. Here's my one teaspoon of kosher salt. It's going in. All right, now I'm going to put in my dough hook and my beautiful KitchenAid. It's one of my favorite things in the world. So here we go. The dough hook is in. Now we add the wet ingredients, which is my warm yeast, slightly less than one cup of water with the yeast already bloomed. Pour him in, put him off to the side. And honey's sticky, so I have to scrape it. If you don't have any honey, you can just use some white sugar, because some people don't have honey, or they don't eat honey. You can use some regular old white sugar, you can use a little bit of brown sugar, you could use a little bit of molasses, whatever kind of sugary thing you have, so the yeast have something to eat. Because they're hungry. That's what makes them get all kinds of bubbles. And this is important for the, to get all this out because I'm not using very much, it's only a tablespoon, so I don't want to waste it. All right, now this is super easy. Everything's in the bowl. So we're gonna put it on low for about a minute. Okay, I put it on two actually, on my KitchenAid. This does not take very long, just to get everything all mixed together before you turn it up high, otherwise you get a big poof of flour all over your kitchen to help, to help keep that from happening, because that's no fun to clean up. That just makes paste and that's no good. I will probably end up doing that when I turn it to four anyway, in just a moment. Yeah, that's, that's good enough for me. See? Just a little bit incorporated. Obviously, it's not dough yet, but it will be in seven minutes. I will show you what it looks like after this goes on four for seven minutes. There we go. Seven minutes. Go down. Should be not very sticky. The, if it's still sticky, you need a little bit more time or a smidge more flour. It shouldn't be very sticky right now at all. Oil I'm going to take this. Olive oil is sprayed in a tiny bowl. This is where it's going to rise. So I just kind of put it. See, it's not very sticky. A little bit here and there, but it's okay. Just put them in a little ball. Just push them around a little bit. When the olive oil sprayed bowl. And then you need to cover it with plastic wrap. I'm using press and seal. It's the kind that's sticky on one side. Spray it with olive oil or the dough is going to stick to it when it rises. Believe me, I've had that problem many times. Just loosely like this. We're going to put our dough ball in a warm spot for about three hours or so. Depends on how warm it is in your kitchen. If it's summer, it's faster. If it's winter, it takes a little while longer. We're going to let him go until he's about double in size so he'll fill up this bowl. And then I'll let you see them. I'm going to just set them aside. And since I uh, 
use one of these little packets. This is two and a quarter teaspoons of yeast. I'm gonna make another batch because I didn't wanna have a half of a pouch of yeast. I only need one teaspoon. So I'm gonna make another dough ball. We usually get three nice thin crust pizzas out of it and it's just awesome. And that will show you uh, how to deal with that later. All right, so everything is risen. I've ended up making a lot more pizza dough. I didn't make just the one packet with the uh, one little tiny packet. I ended up making eight dough balls. So I have four in here and four in here. Each one of these will make probably two or three pizzas. We're gonna use two of them today. So the other six are gonna have to have something else happen to them. So what you can do at this point, you have three options. Make a pizza, freeze the dough for later, in a in a quart bag each one of these will fit very nicely in a quart bag or you can roll some out and just cook them off so you have pizza crust that's really handy where when my when one of my kids has a friend over and they want something to eat i just toss them together a pizza because i always have sauce i always have the topping make sure they're nice and olive oily put them in here zip lock them closed get out as much air as you possibly can and they will freeze beautifully Otherwise, you can also leave them in the fridge if you're going to make make pizza today. Or if you're going to make pizza tomorrow, you can leave them in the fridge for a day. They're going to keep getting bigger. But you, if, you put in the, if you put it in the refrigerator, the yeasts will slow down a little bit so they won't, be quite as, they won't get quite as poofy. We had this in a nice warm spot, so that's why they're so big. Uh, we're going to be done with these now. We'll make pizzas in a little while, and we'll show you that. We'll come back later to, we'll come back later to making pizza. But we'll show you that in a different video.